bats batsman so it's bats women it cannot be bats oh i think priya so whoever we have in the team <laughs> i think currently it's most funniest in your team <laughs> uh i think it would be trouble maker <laughs> we have a couple of them sir one thing i love and respect about amna is that uh, amna is a very kind hearted amna is she is very supportive Start catching getting injuries again and you know getting sore hands and sore muscles and running around and we really Hello everyone and assalamu alaikum today we have a guest with us as she was present on the day first when we were forming our first women cricket team in 2008 she is representing kuwait since long time and giving so many victories she is not only a player she also a qualified acc level 1 umpire and a level 1 cricket coach i'm talking about the current captain of the women's cricket team Miss Amna Tariq Sharif, welcome to our channel, Amna. Assalamu alaikum. Waalaikum salam, sir. I'm good. How are you? Uh, I was born in Kuwait, um, and then later on, I moved for my higher. I studied my full schooling in Kuwait. Uh, later on, I moved to Colombo for my higher studies. I came. I was in JIS, Jabi Indian School, and then I moved for my higher studies. I came back to Kuwait uh, in 2013. As you know, I was in touch with you uh, for uh, a long period of time, and then thereafter, as soon as I came back to Kuwait, I think the first the the day I landed and the next day I came to the grounds. I was mainly into basketball and athletics. To be honest, I was never. Uh, I was always into cricket, but more into watching cricket as a viewer. Uh, and then i was always into basketball athletics uh, you know volleyball all kinds of sports actually i really don't know how to answer that sir but uh, i think it's something that comes from within uh, i think you start developing a liking for a sport um, and it's just something that's very natural uh, like i've always been into basketball then i started playing cricket and then I don't know I think it's it's just from your heart uh, you have to just you know be committed and it's kind of a I don't know how to explain it <laughs> it's it's just that you really like the game I uh, know I think our university didn't have a, a women's team uh, and uh, obviously Sri Lanka is a test playing country and there was a lot of cricket but i think i never got a chance because i was really caught up with my studies and at that point i didn't have this craze or this kind of uh you know interest in the game so that just developed once i got back and um, i wouldn't say immediately as soon as i got back but it just developed slowly so at that point no i i would say no i think it was back in 2000 Eight or nine, I can't really recollect. Uh, it was a newspaper ad. Yeah, it was a first cricket team. Yes, for the women's. Yeah, it was a newspaper advertisement where they were saying uh, they were calling out girls to come and play cricket. I just actually came for you know for fun uh, because I was interested in sports. Um, and then I had to leave the same time. The very next uh, few months, I had to leave for my studies. And then I think continuously, I was in touch with you. um and that's how really i came in for the first time i remember it was i think it was the first ever team uh, that was formed for women's and you no know, so it wasn't like the very first time it's just like i always play for fun but never like seriously like you know like like i want to be a cricketer or something like that so i've always played with the boys or you know just played tennis ball or just played for fun so i think it it was probably there but i was just destined to play cricket properly like in in full fledged in a full fledged manner only after a certain point so i think it's just the way god had planned it after my bachelor's yeah 2013 if i remember correctly no i think i think alhamdulillah i've had very supportive parents uh, especially my mom uh, she's been uh, 
she's been very supportive because she herself was into sports when she was younger so she's always supported me and motivated me to do what i want and she supports me even today she's more excited when i play a game than i am uh, so that's how mothers are uh, so she's always supportive and uh, i'm always grateful to her because she gets up in the morning you know she makes sure that i go i wake up for my practice on time even though you know i'm an adult uh, so she's i mean her love is unconditional so i'm very lucky in that way that my parents are very supportive and especially my mom she's she's very supportive my dad is also supportive yes but he doesn't he doesn't really say much he's he's busy into his uh, into his kind of life and his uh, duties so yeah it was a january qatar tour it was a tri series where kuwait won the tournament so i think for me uh, until now that is one of the best memories uh, the feeling of winning nothing beats that <laughs> so i think that would be one of the best memories for me no i'll be very honest uh, when we were traveling from here yes we had a lot of ups and downs uh, we had a lot of challenges because as you know we did not have um, uh, we did not have things as set as we would like it to be uh, at that point yes there were some questions and there were some um, you know some worries but i think i think that that should be there because everything is if everything is perfect then something is wrong but if things are not going very perfectly and there's ups and downs and then i think everything is fine so yes we did go with a new team a bit of a new team we had a couple of seniors i won't say it's very new but uh, we did have a couple of new girls uh, but i also must commend that all these uh, new girls who joined in all of them um, you know they did a, they did a lovely job and they supported the team they tried their best i think uh, i think it's it's a pure effort of every individual member i think everybody did really well in their own way uh, like if i had to start off with i would say uh, as we know priyada is our star uh, with the bat uh, she did amazingly well with the bat uh, she was like you know she was always there so we knew like priyada is there and obviously we know her batting skills is uh, is amazing um mariam haider did amazing with the ball uh, her spin bowling is something that we always uh, depend on at very crucial times um obviously her her spirit and her motivation as well uh, maria i have nothing to say she's one of our best bowlers and uh, she's our we call her chotu actually as you know and then when maria plays it's like you know you it she's like she's like i pleasing so her bowling stance and you know her bowling action and everything it was it was amazing then we have shivon who's hitting runs on the other side pumping the team we have ashraf covering the boundaries we have uh, you know we have uh, people like akriti who's just behind the stumps trying she did an amazing job and then we have zifa who's hitting amazing cover drives and straight drives and i don't know boundaries uh, i'll say i'll say it's been a learning and it's been an it's been a learning journey for me obviously it's been amazing and also at the same time a lots of ups and, i mean it's been lots of ups and downs uh i started off as a player and obviously i had my own uh issues uh you know starting from you know how to develop on my game my fitness and so many other things um and then uh, later on i think with time slowly slowly as an individual i uh, i tried to progress uh, i'm not there yet but i'm trying my best from my side um so 2000 i think at the end of 2017 i was given the domestic captainship and then uh really somewhere in 2018 middle i took up the uh, the captainship uh, you know the captaincy permanently uh, which is truly an honor for me and it's um, it's something that i really value uh, and respect uh, i feel lucky uh, it's it's been uh, it's been a bumpy ride but uh, a lot of learnings like i said um yes initially there was you know a lot of nervousness and a lot of inexperience and then as i played games uh, especially the games that i played in kuwait it taught me a lot i think with every game you tend to understand what mistakes you make you know where you go wrong and then how you can correct it if you really reflect if you do your homework and then you try and fix your mistakes uh, basically if you work hard i think it never goes waste maybe 5 years down the line 10 years down the line but at some point it'll get paid off so hard work never goes waste is what i have been taught and uh, i think i i can see that so slowly but alhamdulillah it's it's going very well and i would say that it's also changed me as a person because um, i've realized that uh 
people management is a very difficult skill uh, and uh, i think you need to develop that uh, you need to understand every individual so that's one thing you need to you need to be on top of your game you need to be on top of your team you need to be on top of you know everything that's possibly there you know your coaches are, is on one side the management so so yeah it's really interesting i i mean i'm i'm really enjoying it and uh, hopefully until until i can and until uh, i have the capabilities i'll try my best to keep doing whatever i can <laughs> no so not really i mean there's no personal grudge as such i i have to be very honest there was a set of people who were very supportive uh like uh, if i really have to name people like you know ismail and nisha then uh, you know we have khalid and uh, nikhil and vinod and all these people who were very very supportive i mean they always motivated us i cannot say that there's that always a 10% of people who will try to you know put you down or try to say that you know because you're a female or because you're a girl cricketer okay fine she's not good enough but that's normal i mean i think even even a male cricketer would face that uh in different teams that he he would go so the same thing would apply to a girl but yes there is criticism and there is more of negativity when you know the when a girl is playing but i won't deny that there has been a lot of supportive uh people during this journey who've supported us who've motivated us who've given us opportunity uh, i have to say that you know shakti sir is someone that i really look up to he's given me a lot of opportunity um and it's through ismail that i came to know uh, about shakti sir and so i cannot say that it's been a bad journey because when i was playing for bebahani i played for uh, i played for a couple of teams mg uh, the journey was amazing because i was always given an opportunity to bowl i was given an opportunity to bat to field um and those uh, games really helped me to become stronger uh, and i was picking wickets and you know even if i wasn't picking wickets they're still giving me an opportunity so uh, so i can't really complain uh, i think you have to be ready for negativity wherever you go even if you go into a new women's team on the other side uh, if i ever go to play for any other team i'm sure the girls will also be very negative maybe uh, so i have to take it um, you can't just always say that you know it's it's a one sided thing so yes uh, the 10% is always there but then i think it's it's up to you how you take it and you know how you how you cope with it so we started doing a weekly uh, team calls uh, where we had different topic discussions we discussed about fitness gave them tasks you know on how what they can do during the week what they could probably eat if anybody had personal goals how they could improve on that um and many other things actually we discussed a lot of things over the past few weeks i have a lot of people to thank actually starting from the almighty and then obviously my mom uh, she's been very very supportive uh, as i said i just want to take this opportunity to thank you uh, you've been my first cricket coach thank you for you know uh, being there and supporting all the time and then obviously i have tahir sir you know we have uh, so many other coaches like aslam sir and now recently we have gayur sir and shashikala sir and very importantly i cannot forget to thank uh, shakti sir and uh, coach smile they've been very supportive because i think a year or year and a half ago i joined uh, just want to thank all of them and obviously my teammates there there's i mean without them i'm nothing so and obviously uh, not to forget i just want to thank quick cricket for supporting women's cricket and i hope they keep doing that all the way up until the end uh because i think it's very important uh, that you know we get the support that we deserve supporting women's cricket uh you know uh, thank you for all the support that you've given us until now bats bats man so it's bats women it cannot be bats man oh sorry sorry bats women <laughs> i think currently in the team it's priya da bats fielder fielder oh, it's a tough one uh, it'll be a tie oh, i think uh, maria and priya da maybe best catcher oh i think priya da and the uh, best wicket keeper whoever we have in the team <laughs> i think currently it's akriti best runner running between the wickets i think it will be shivon she's very quick and uh, shivon and ashraf they're very quick yeah who is the best runner sorry uh, partnership 
best runner i think would be shivon and ashraf they very quick okay who is your best partner on the batting line when you are playing uh, who you I like to be from, with you i had really good partnership with priyada and uh, haider but i would say i really enjoyed batting with shivon we had a very good partnership against most Omar. understanding really with you it. most understanding uh, with you as a friend or as a cricketer as a cricketer i don't know priya and haider maybe both of Best them baller. actually they're very uh in terms of pace i would say maria and in terms of spin i would say haider undoubtedly who is your best room partner because you have since you are 13 have lots of tours so who you find the best partner room partner i would say haider she's a good room partner who very considerate most... very neat uh, okay who is the most funniest in your team <laughs> uh i think it would be mufida she's she's quite funny and she i think she's more lively very very lively person mufida yeah and more trouble maker trouble maker <laughs> we have a couple of them sir <laughs> so you don't no, want no, to no, there no 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 there no no it's fine serious uh in terms uh, in terms of cricket like very cricket focused or, i mean to say the personality wise uh very focused i would say priyada the best uh, boundary fielders uh i think uh, we have two best boundary fielders for cover and deep mid and that would be uh, shivan and ashraf they did an amazing job both the sides covering the boundaries amazingly okay. who is the slip best fielder out to priya and maria for that again very excited to be back can't wait to be back on the ground you know start catching getting injuries again and you know getting sore hands and sore muscles and running around and we really miss it uh, so really looking forward to it uh, and hopefully i think uh, the kind of fitness sessions that we've done on weekly basis will definitely help us to be back on the ground i would not say very smoothly but at least it would definitely help us it will not be that difficult that you know your body is going to get into a shock where you cannot take the training so i think very excited to be back and looking forward to work on fitness skills you know be together with the team again and with the coaches you know train and then obviously prepare ourselves for whatever is coming ahead of us any tournaments inshallah um uh one thing i love and respect about amna is that uh, she's very selfless and she always puts the team first before herself and she keeps the team together amna is a uh, captain knows how to keep things together no matter what the circumstances are a very supportive down to earth and humble person she is okay. amna is a very kind hearted person she is very extremely positive and a supportive captain amna is a very passionate leader Her leadership skills actually to keep the team bonded and uh, the way we are to you know to take us and to take the team forward it's amazing and her passion commitment and dedication towards uh, both cricket and the cricket as a game as a whole is just amazing and hats off to her she's amazing. Amna is uh, always uh, very good and towards the towards the juniors like she's very uh, kind and she talks to everyone and she's a great inspiration to everybody in the team. Ami is a very friendly and supportive captain. She is very good to everyone, and she treats uh, everyone equally. Thank you. She is very good captain and uh, supporting and all the teams. All I can say about Amna is she is very supportive and she is very focused about the team, and she encourages the team very well. Apart from the team, from outside also she is very good. She keeps. So Amna, she is an amazing skipper. Um, We have been playing together for seven years now. She she encourages amazing on and off the field. She keeps the team together. She knows how to lead the team and how to handle the girls. Uh, the tournament when we had, she is very calm on and off the field. I th- I think she is an amazing captain and the way she has taken over in the past two three years, it, it's been amazing. Uh, thank you very much, Shamna, for the nice evening, and uh, inshallah, you will see uh, this interview very soon. Thank you so much, sir, for your time, and thank you for uh, having me. Uh, 
it was a nice chat with you and uh, it's a nice work that you're doing uh, i think your your page name is uh, the mind game cricket the mind game so wishing you all the best and um, also i'll see you on the ground very soon for followers that please subscribe this channel as well <laughs> so i don't have any followers as such but surely inshallah no, 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 i will no, you will see after this interview you will be get more double but definitely you have <laughs> don't underestimate you inshallah okay amna thank, thank you sir thank you so much okay. bye bye take care